Oh, hello, Daphne. You're the wrong side of the fence. They're all like, how did you get over there, Daphne? Beautiful. I don't think there's any water left to release from under the ice here. It's a lovely morning, 15th of January, cold, clear, bit of ice, um, but nothing to complain about here. We've got some real pretty colours in the sky and the sun will rise in about five minutes. The highlands are tucking into their last of their bale. They're probably due a new one maybe, maybe today. Snow is just lightly falling, very lightly, this morning, the 16th of January, and uh, it's very calm, very quiet, um, very peaceful. The ewes are still in uh, bedtime mode. I'm sure they'll get up soon and head down to the feeder. So the starlings have moved in where the sheep were. I guess they'll be picking over. So I've been going round, breaking all the ice and just making sure that everyone can get some water. 
The lamb's gonna have a little bit of breakfast. So the sun is going to be somewhere behind that cloud over there but once the sun rises we should get a sunny day and i think it's the 16th or the 17th of january today i'm losing track but it's a wednesday um and it's a beautiful day so no complaints from me about this uh, frost and snow. Coco saying good morning. Good morning. It appears that Doris is the leader. The nibbles. I've just walked up the hill, so you can see the sunrise behind me. Uh, I think it's about ten past eight. I've just fed the rams, broken their water. And then the other water drinkers, I can't break the ice, it's too thick. So I'm going to need a different tool to the usual tool. Um, and I've also got the sheep to feed today. And um, also a Highland cow has gone AWOL. So that will be a fairly pressing thing to sort out. Here are the sheep all bunched up. It's been a cold night for them, but I'm sure they will be... Fine, we're going to put them some new bales in shortly. Here comes the sun. The baths come in handy at this time when there's no way we'd get a pipe going. Um, the pipe will be frozen solid, so at least this way we can just break the ice and they'll have water to drink. And we get some lovely golden light. So this water system is not operational at all because of the cold. So that's why it's good that we have got two options. And uh, yeah, so apparently one of the highlands has got over the fence. So I'm just wondering whether she's figured out how to get herself back or whether it's gonna be job for me and Nick this morning. Oh hello Daphne, you're the wrong side of the fence. I'm not sure what possessed her to leave and join a group of donkeys instead of Highland cows but there we go. We don't know whether she got under the wire or over the wire, but there's a hole there. And now, they're all like, how did you get over there, Daphne? How did you get over there? Come on. So we've dismantled this area of fence. You can see a tiny little cow over there. Um, and we found another area of fencing, oh yay, 
that needs work doing to it. We knew it needed doing already, but only one job at a time. So we're hoping she can hop over here. My guess is that she's gonna go through this time. Nick's not confident. She likes that corner. We're working with her. It's not the easiest ground to navigate. Come on then, lovely. Go back to the corner where you like. A bit more. A bit more. Oh. Rest Sorry, assured, she's back. It was the second or third, third attempt. So, there we go. We found, we found an old Heinz, Heinz 57 bottle. Pheasant watching. Just look the part, Nick. Yeah. So, regular viewers will notice that we are kitted out with new gear so i've got trousers and jacket from ridgeline so it is the proper proper stuff for farming and feeling like um what's the word way more professional than <laughs> nick likes tools can you tell so yeah i failed to break the ice this morning so let's see go on I like to hit it hard. Nick seems to prefer a more... What would you describe that as? Electrical approach. <laughs> 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 the sun's <laughs> making me giddy. <laughs> but yeah, so we're moving the sheep feeders today. We're putting new bales in for the sheep. And we've just got to break the trough up here and put them some tubs out. Hello, my best girls. They've been having a bit of a dominance battle over the uh, tub. Have you got your things to smash it with? So we've got water. We have a fairly thick layer of ice. Dad always used to be quite interested in how thick the ice was, too. But a beautiful day nonetheless. Pretty 
told this morning, the 19th, I think today, of January. I've got a fair few sheep sheltering from the wind off the wall. And I'm going to go at the feeders, I'm going to go at the bucket, I'm going to go at the water, but that will be frozen. So I'll break it now. I don't think there's any water left to release from under the ice here. But yeah, it's, it is another beautiful, frosty, gorgeous morning. Um, and it's just really nice to have the sun on your face. And even though it's cold, just have the light and the colours and the glow. I think this might be the last day of it. So... I'm going to enjoy it as much as possible, even though it's a bit extra work to do. So yesterday we had a cow somehow get over this fence, so uh, hoping that they're all going to be there today. <clears throat> Good morning, you lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they're all there. So we've defrosted the tap, we've defrosted the pipe, the tractor's filling up now with water with the IBC. So we're getting ready to take water to the cows. about 11 o'clock now so I've done all the sheep, water, hay, cows checked, water and now it's time for my breakfast and then going to feed the cows, the main group of cows down at Uncle Peter's land in the village and then after that see what was for. I don't know if we're doing some more post knocking today or fencing, but just make the most of the fine weather, I think. Today's Saturday the 20th of January and there's been a change in the weather. It's a gloomy, gloomy day and the wind's picking up. I think we are heading for a storm. So that's going to be the end of the calmer, cooler, crisper weather and I imagine we'll be back to something milder and wetter which is kind of the norm for us so uh, thanks for coming along as always we enjoy you coming with us and uh, see you next time bye